Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Meg's How To Videos, where today I'm gonna to be going over how to test an EGR valve solenoid. Now, before I go over testing this EGR valve, let's go over what the EGR system is and its purpose. If you already know what the EGR valve system is, feel free to skip to this point in the video. Now, if you're still watching, you're probably wondering what is the EGR? And EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. And it does pretty much what the name says. The whole purpose of the system is to take a small amount of the exhaust gases and recirculate it back into the combustion chamber through the intake manifold. There, it helps reduce and lower the combustion chamber temperatures, as well as burn off more of those poisonous nitrogen oxide gases that your vehicle emits. The purpose of the EGR valve is to act as a bridge that combines or connects, I should say, the exhaust manifold to the intake manifold and controls the flow of gases that go to the combustion chamber. It usually begins in the closed position, that is usually what it starts as, and is actuated by a vacuum or otherwise a small electric step motor. The first things first, we're gonna to wanna to turn the vehicle to the run position. Now that the vehicle is in the run position, we can now test for power at the EGR valve. Here I have disconnected the wire harness that supplies the power to the valve, and I'll be using a multimeter to test this wire harness. If you don't know how to use a multimeter, feel free to check out one of my other how-to videos where I explain the basics on how to use one. So here we go. We are going to turn the multimeter on. I will then take the negative lead here and then the positive one here. Now this vehicle runs on a 12 volt system, so that's what we should be getting. And there we go, yep, we're getting 11.95. So that's pretty close to 12 volts. And that tells us that the, the solenoid has received the proper voltage. And so power is not the issue. The next test I'm gonna do to verify or to continue verifying that the power is not our problem, is I'm gonna be using this power probe to actuate this solenoid. Now, when I send power to it, you should hear a click if you don't, that means the thing is most likely seized up. So we're gonna try it out. So you can see that there was no click, so that most likely means that the solenoid is seized. Here I have a, another solenoid. This one sh uh, is a good solenoid, and I'll show you what it's supposed to sound like. hear that? That clicking noise inside the solenoid is it actuating. That means that the solenoid is working. So even though in the earlier test we found out that this solenoid does not want to engage when you supply power to it, there's another test that you can go about doing and that is testing for vacuum. And to do this you can simply test it by applying air through either one of these ports. To simulate this I'm going to be using a standard rubber air hose connect one side here and I'm going to blow through the other side. You can hear the air is escaping from the solenoid and thus it's not holding a vacuum. You can also hold this port here and you can still hear the air escaping. You can also test this port and you can hear air is still escaping through the solenoid. And that tells me that it's stuck in the open position. Here I have the working solenoid that was clicking in the previous test. So that tells me, of course, this one actually does engage. So we're gonna still test for vacuum to make sure this solenoid is fully operational. To do that, of course, I'm gonna hook up this rubber hose to one of the ports, and then I'm gonna blow through this one. You can hear no air is escaping through the solenoid and actually pressure is building up in the hose. That tells me this solenoid is in the closed position just like what it's supposed to be. 
And of course it means the other one is bad and I'm gonna have to replace it. And that's why I got this one. So if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. That and subscribe to my channel to see more how-to videos. If this video helped you out or you have an idea for another how-to video, please leave it in the comments below. But until next time, God bless and good luck.